my YouTube friends. Multi-streaming is all the rage these days. And I totally get it. If your content strategy is built around live streaming, why not reach the largest audience possible with your content? So I decided to do a video series that's gonna show you how to connect OBS to all the different platforms easily. And today I'm gonna to show you how to connect OBS to Rumble. It's pretty easy stuff, so you know what? Let's get to it! Now for this video, I'm gonna assume that you already set up your Rumble account. If not, you may wanna do that first and then pick up the video from here and follow along. Now let's connect Rumble to OBS. All right, let's start out here in OBS and we're gonna go up here to profile and we're gonna create a new profile for Rumble so that we can connect to it. Now you're not gonna have all of these profiles in here. I have a lot of profiles. You're probably gonna have one that's just a standard one. We're gonna start a new one and we'll just call this Rumble and we wanna show the configuration wizard. So we're gonna click OK. We wanna optimize for streaming. Click next. And here we want to set what we want our canvas to be. We want our base canvas to be whatever we're going to be streaming at. In this case, 1920 by 1080. We want to set the frames per second that we desire. Now, if you're streaming to Rumble and you're not going to be streaming games, then you can probably set this at 30 frames per second. I'm going to leave it at 60 or 30, and it will decide which one of those is capable on my computer. So I'm just going to leave it there, but you can do whatever you want here. You could drop this down and select whatever you want. Now I'm gonna click next, and we're just gonna select our service. Now in this case, there is no service for Rumble. If we go down here, they haven't set anything up specifically for Rumble. So we're just gonna go to custom, and we need our server and our stream key. So in order to get that, we've gotta go over to Rumble. So over here in Rumble, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna go to our My Content tab. Then we're gonna go down here into our live streaming, right here. We'll drop this down and we're gonna select live streams and we're gonna set up a new stream. You're probably not gonna have any streams down here. So you're gonna have to set up a new stream. We're gonna click right there and we're gonna create a new live stream. And so basically we could put a placeholder video here, which is really kind of nice. We'll put a stream title in here, description here, right? What category are you streaming to? You actually have to fill this out. So mine would be a how to. And then higher quality streaming through a pass-through. We're definitely doing that because we're using OBS. You want to choose some sort of an image. So we'll just go ahead and select some sort of uh, image here. One of my older streaming thumbs. We'll select that. Put your tags in. Uh, this is kind of important on Rumble. So my tag might be live streaming. That might be one tag, comma, OBS tutorial, you know, put your tags in there. Uh, then select which profile you wanna stream as. And then right here, you're gonna select whether you wanna stream right now or at a later time. So we're gonna set this up for a later time. You just click here, you select the date or whatever that you wanna live stream at. You select your time right here and you click apply. And then you have to select how you want the visibility to go. Do you want it to be public, visible to everyone? On listed where you can share the link and people that you want can show up or private where it's just for you and you're gonna be testing so in this case I'm gonna set mine to private but you're probably gonna have yours as public and you can make the recording private after the stream ends meaning it will just make it private once the stream is over we're not gonna check that but you're welcome to if you like we're just gonna click next and then we just have these two terms and conditions you can fill out any more of this stuff if you really want I never do we're gonna click submit and now we're going to see the code and this is like links for you to share on your other social media sites so that someone else can find your stream, make it easy. But we've already set up our stream, so all we have to do is go back in here, go to my content, and then we can go back over here into live streaming and select live streams. And we're gonna see our live stream right here. It has our server and it has our stream key. Now, if you were gonna just live stream all the time and you wanted to have the same stream key and you just wanted to be able to go live and stream, you could use the static stream key. If you're gonna go in and you're gonna set up a title and a description and everything and have a new thumbnail for every single live stream, which I highly recommend that you do, then you're gonna to wanna to use this dynamic stream key. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and copy out our server URL. We're gonna go back over here and we're gonna paste our server in there. And then I'm gonna go back over and I'm gonna grab our stream key we're gonna pop back over here and paste that in here. 
There we go. And then all I need to do, uh, prefer hardware encoding. You wanna have that checked so that it will select the best possible encoder for your live stream. And you want it to estimate the bit rate bandwidth at, by doing a test to check it. And then we just click next. And then we're gonna click yes on here. And it's gonna do a quick test to see what our best settings are going to be. And boom, so here we go. We've got a video bit rate of 10,000, which is pretty, Hi. Uh, stream encoder, it selected the right ones, so we're good here. 1920 by 1080, we're all good there, and it selected our frames per second at 60. Now, I'm not a super big fan of this bit rate. I think that's too high. I think for 1920 by 1080, 6,000 is more than good enough. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the settings and we're gonna come down here into settings and we're gonna go to our output and we're gonna change up that bit rate right here from 10,000, we're just gonna make this 6,000. That's more than adequate for what we're trying to do. Then we could just click apply and okay. And now we're set up to stream to Rumble. All we have to do is click start streaming and it's going to go ahead and stream to our Rumble right here. And if we go in here, you're gonna see that it's up here. When it's time for this to go live, we're also gonna have our chat over here. So you'll be able to go in and comment and play with the chat and all that sort of stuff. So everything we need is right there. Once we start streaming, it's gonna start streaming right here. There's nothing else that you need to do now to stream to that live except for click start streaming. Now, every time that we go live, our stream key is probably going to change because we're going to be setting up a new live stream. So in order to get the new stream key, once we create our stream, it's gonna be the same process. You'd go into my content live streaming and then go to live streams and you're gonna get one of these for every single new one that comes out. So then all we have to do is go into OBS and in the future, you're not gonna go through the auto creation, you're just gonna go into settings, you're gonna go to streams, and then you're just gonna, you know, overwrite this. It's really that simple. You overwrite this, click apply and okay, and now you're ready to go to your new stream. So what about multi-streaming? Well, let's say we're multi-streaming to Rumble and YouTube. One of these two has to be the standard that we're streaming to first. So in my case, I stream first, to YouTube. So what I'm gonna do is go into my settings and just set this to YouTube real quick. And there we go, click apply. Now we're all set. So we're, we're set up to stream default to YouTube. We wanna add Rumble as a second platform. Now there are a couple of different applications for multi-streaming. I'm gonna use the most popular one at the moment, which is the ATEM multi-streaming tool. You might have a bunch of different ones. In fact, I have a bunch of different ones on here. I have the ATEM multi-streamer and I also have multiple output. They both work essentially the same. So I'm just gonna show you in the A to multi-stream. Here it is, and we can just dock it wherever we want, and you can see that our standard right here is for YouTube. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on this little gear. We're gonna go to main canvas, and I'm going to add an output. And in this case, you could see that we don't get anything for Rumble. So we're gonna click other service, and we're gonna call this Rumble. Then we just need a server. Well, all we have to do is go over here and select our server and we could paste that right in there. And then we need our stream key. So all we have to do is go back over here and select our stream key and we can come back in here and paste that in there and then just create the output. And all we have to do now is click OK and you can see it adds rumble to our outputs over here. So now when we click start streaming, we will automatically stream to both YouTube and rumble we're ready to go. And by the way, all you have to do if you wanna add more, just click here, go to add output, and you can add any of these other services like TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, or Kick, or anything you want, Twitch, of course, as well. So that's how easy it is to stream to Rumble, but also to multi-stream to more than one platform like YouTube and Rumble. Now I told you it was pretty easy. Is there something that I missed or a platform that you wanna see a tutorial on how to connect with OBS? Let me know about it down in the comments. Now you may wanna see all your chats in one place. It really makes multi-streaming a lot easier. You can check this video out to see how you can have all your chats in one place right in OBS. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.